Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, we're going to grill up some ribs. That's right, I said grill, not smoke some ribs on my Yoder flat top. Stay tuned. You can see, look at this bark. It's crazy. Oh man, this is perfect. It helps to start with a nice sharp knife, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, I got two racks of St. Louis cut ribs and they're pretty much trimmed. I don't need to do anything. I might take this bone out, I'm not sure yet, but for sure we got to remove that membrane off the back of the ribs. Now, there's been a lot of talk on grilling ribs, if that's possible or if you've got to smoke them. I've grilled ribs before on my flat top, but it was more of a smoking process the way I had my flat top set up. Now, grilling, to me, means that you're grilling right over coals. Smoking, you're usually at an offset, you know, using an offset smoker. But for grilling, to me, I think you have to be grilling right over a direct flame, okay? Which is usually gonna be at a little higher temperature than smoking as well. So just take the membrane off of this, just like that. Let's do this one here real quick. Sometimes they come off pretty easy, sometimes it is a battle to get these membranes off, but I always like to take them off, especially on my spare ribs. A little slippery. All right. All right, I got the membrane off. Now this has a little bit of fat on the back. Just gonna trim it off a little bit. Just like that. A little bit's okay, especially since we're gonna be grilling these but that was a good hunk of fat there, so I'm just gonna trim it off a little bit. All right, these ribs are looking good. Now, as far as the rib itself, I was looking at it and was thinking about trimming this last rib, but in reality, I think that'll be there to help protect this rib right here, so I'm just gonna leave it on and probably won't eat it, but I will cut it off once the ribs are cooked. All right, let's get down to the rubs. I am using two rubs. Both of them are from Our Butts Are Smoking. This first one is the Ozark Heat, which I absolutely love. The second one is this Cherry Habanero, which is delicious as well. No binders or anything, just a straight rub. Get the back side of it first. Give them a really good coating. This is the Cherry Habanero, which is gonna be delicious. Has a really nice dark red color. That's the reason I like to take the membrane off is because you can get a little bit more rub into that meat to penetrate the meat. So just for a little extra flavor. Let's get the top side of it. Our second rack is gonna get this Ozark heat. That. Similar colors, but the cherry habanero is a little darker color. So I'm gonna finish seasoning these ribs up on both sides, and we'll see you guys outside at my Yoder flat top. Stay tuned. All right, we're outside at my Yoder flat top. Now I did use one basket of Fogo's premium charcoal as a base layer. And then I use one basket of their super premium, which is really big chunks, and put it on top of that. Now I have the charcoal basket all the way at the bottom. So here's my first rack, which is the cherry rubs. Right here, the cherry habanero. And then the second rack is the Ozark Heat. Just like that. You see how that rub melted really nicely into the ribs? So again, it is kind of hot, but I do have the charcoal basket all the way at the bottom. Now I am gonna be closing the lid. Just like that. The exhaust, you see up here, I'm gonna have it about a quarter of the way open. The intakes on both sides, I've got those at a quarter of the way open too. So we'll check back in about 15 or 20 minutes. Stay tuned. All right guys, it's been 20 minutes since we put the ribs in. Let's check them out. Oh yeah. It's 
really hot, I can tell you that right now. Let's see how we look on the bottom side here. Uh, not too bad. We're just gonna flip them over. Now those are the cherry habanero. And these are the Ozark heat ribs. So this right here, this black stuff that you see, that's just the blood that's coming out of the bones, okay? And that's from the heat itself, so that's not burnt. So that's what you see there on the edges, okay? So I'm not too worried about that, that might come up later. So 20 minutes into the cook, and that's what we look like there. So I'm gonna give it another 20 minutes on the top side of the ribs. Now one piece of advice, if you are gonna try this on your Yoda flat top or any other grill, make sure your coals aren't like roaring with flames. Make sure they're kind of ashed over like the, you see there on the bottom and not, you know, not flamed up because you will burn your ribs. So we'll be back in about 20 minutes. Stay tuned. All right, it's been another 20 minutes. Let's take a look at our ribs. I gotta tell you, it smells really good out here. Let's take a look at them. These are the Ozark heat ribs. Got a little bit of char. Go ahead and turn these the other way. Just like that. Now I already got some good pullback from that bone as well. Let's take a look at these. Cherry habanero. I've got a little bit of char, but nothing too crazy. Man, you know what I'm thinking? These are going to be ready in an hour and a half if I just keep flipping them like this. So again, we're 40 minutes in, 20 minutes on each side. I'm going to go ahead and close the lid again. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been another 20 minutes. Let's take a look at our ribs. So total cook time right now is one hour. Look at how flexible these are. You know what, before I flip them, I'm gonna get an internal temperature and see where we're at. Uh, try not to get a bone there. Wow, would you believe it guys? We're already at 200 and, well, I'm gonna go with that. 201 degrees. 205, 203, wow. I think these are ready. Call me crazy, but I think these are ready. 203 degrees, look at how flexible these are. I mean, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> it's only been one hour. This is crazy. I'm gonna let them go. <laughs> Just get a little bit more color on the top side. Maybe a couple minutes. We'll see you guys inside. This is hard to believe. Stay tuned. All right, let's get to our ribs. Again, I can't believe that it only took one hour. Now these have been resting for 15 minutes, but if you look at it, it's still steaming hot. And that's because of how fast they cooked, okay? And how hot they cooked. So this is our cherry rack right here. Look at that bend test. That is insane, it's already breaking. So these are the cherry habanero. You can see that meat pulling back from the bone right there. And actually, I'm just gonna take a couple of slices from this one here. Man, I cannot believe. I don't know if this is a world record or not, but I have to have broken some kind of record for ribs. Because this was insane fast. Okay. And again, the temperature, the internal temperature was right at 203, 204 degrees. So they were hot. They were plenty hot. All right, let's get my Ozark heat ribs right here. I'm gonna flip them upside down as well. Slice into them. Now these are really tender. All right, let's take a look here. Man, look at that. Little bit of a smoke ring, not too much of a smoke ring. Again, these are grilled, not smoked, so I wasn't expecting a smoke ring, but as you can see, there's a little bit of a smoke ring there. So man, these are looking good. Let's give these bad boys a taste. Stay tuned. All right, let's give these one hour ribs a try. Now, I didn't expect for these ribs to cook in one hour. I just wanted to see if we can grill some ribs. And obviously you can, so let's see if the flavor is there. Just gonna grab one of these. 
This is the cherry habanero. Again, you do have a smoke ring, not much, but again, I wasn't expecting the smoke ring. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, right off the bone. Mm, mm, mm. You know, that is really tasty. It, it does taste like a grilled rib. It's got that backyard barbecue flavor. Oh man, that rub is good. Let's go try one of these Ozark heat ribs. It's my favorite rub. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. These are amazing tasting ribs. For one hour, I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna smoke a rib again, but I will be grilling them again, okay? Now, if you wanted some sauce, the last five minutes, probably 55 minutes into the cook, go ahead and sauce them up, and then just flip them every couple of minutes, okay? That way your sauce doesn't burn, because that grill was hot. If I had to guess the temperature of that grill, it's probably 800 degrees, okay? That fogo charcoal gets really hot, so probably cook these at 800 degrees in one hour, or you can warm up some sauce and then sauce them afterwards, but I'm not a big barbecue sauce fan, but if you are, give them a shot. Give these one hour ribs a try. I guarantee you will like them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, Joe is smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.